Only a day after passenger boats bound to Yonpyeong were stranded following the North Korean shelling of the island, they again resumed operations on Thursday. Residents returned home only to hurry up and leave once more, just hours later. When they arrived at the island just after three in the afternoon, residents quickly went to the destroyed homes and busily packed their bags before leaving by boat for Incheon two hours later. A man who spent over 40 years on the island said, although he doesn't know where he will stay or what he will do, he still chose to leave. How can I live in this scary place? After seeing houses being destroyed, I cannot stay here anymore. It was my first time seeing such an assault. I cannot live here anymore. The destroyed homes and buildings on Yonpyeong truly put Tuesday's bombardment into perspective. Some people who lived here for more than 70 years and experienced the Korean War said it was like experiencing the war all over again. With most of Yonpyeong Island residents leaving on Wednesday, mainly empty houses remain, and it is still not clear when they will be able to return home. Kim Nari, Arirang News, Yonpyeong Island.